You know, I wanted to talk about that business of headshots. Uh, I personally have done some, but I haven't really dug deep into it because I didn't fully understand the kind of money that you can make. Now, if you don't mind, what, what kind of uh, money from range lowest to the highest that you've made for just portrait type of photography? <laughs> I, would, I would say I'm in the mid-range here. You, you have to really market yourself very specifically to be able to ask a higher price, to be in the range that Peter Hurley would be. You know, and also it depends on where you are. If you're in Manhattan, you can charge differently than if you're deeper in Pennsylvania. It's just the, your local market will determine a lot of that. It also means that I charge more money when I work in Manhattan. If I do any kind of corporate work, commercial work in Manhattan, I do charge more than here. Not just for travel and parking and all the other expenses, but because you seem weaker if you, char if you don't charge accordingly. You will get passed over for work if you don't charge an appropriate price. They don't think you're professional enough or of a high enough standard. So you kind of have to read your market. And I'm sure people will disagree with me on this somewhere. No, There's no, I, people so disagree, you, know? you ask people 10 photographers of something, <laughs> you get 12 opinions. Oh my gosh, right? So you're totally right about that. I think it's important to know that a lot of us who are nervous about making money with photography, we think, oh, let's charge low so we could try to start getting customers. But that just makes you look like a cheap photographer from the get-go. So that's Also, it, it kind of fixes you in a certain range. It fixes you with a certain segment of the market.